We are live. Hello there. Whether you are live or on the replay, thank you for joining me. Let's jump right in to a full flip through of Health in the Human Mind, a brand new science unit from the Good and the Beautiful. We will check through, check out the course book, and then we'll go through both of the student journals before we hit the book pack and the optional read aloud for the older children. Let's just dive right in here. This is a unit that is completely brand new. And has 12 lessons. Here's the book pack. Here's the supplies list. I always recommend that you go through the supply list and if it's something you don't have, check the lesson. Make sure it's an activity that you or your children are interested in before you purchase the item. Here's the lesson extensions. We'll check those out in the student journal that is for the older, the older kids student journal. Here's the vocabulary words. I like to put a little flag and just kind of come back and review them each lesson as we add new ones rather than doing a science well. And if at any point you want me to speed up or slow down, there is a little settings button in the bottom right hand corner. Feel free to adjust the speed at which I turn the pages. The answer keys are in the book here. And if you're interested in the other science units that they have been releasing, the updated ones, I have been flipping through each and every one as they come out and arrive to my door. And I will link the playlist for you in the description box. And I will actually be flipping through the brand new is it weather and water unit when we're done with this one? And if we haven't met yet, hi there. I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to drop them down in the comment box. I love being a part of your homeschool journey. All right, let's check out the student journal for grades three through six. This one does not, co does, does not cover every single lesson, but there's something in here. Oh, a little hat. And extra notes. All right. Student journal for grades seven through eight. I like to buy this one regardless of age level of my kiddos because I like to do the lesson extensions family style for us because I just feel like they add so much to the learning of the unit. Okay, so let's show you really quick the difference between the two if we can. No difference here. Okay, just kidding. We'll see if there's a difference farther along other than the lesson extension. And when I have a kiddo that does do this journal, because I have one that kind of is in between the levels, and so I will will go through each journal and decide which one is the right fit for that kiddo for this particular unit. If they're still using the journal, and when we get to this, I just snap a quick picture on my phone or take a copy and read it aloud while they continue to work. Let's see, this is not the same. Okay, so here's a difference. These, they want them to color each part of the brain a different color as you list the facts about that part. So they also want them to label them, it looks like. And then over here, color each part of the brain a different color as you listen to the facts about the part. So this, listen to, sorry, list they will be listening to you talk about the different facts of the different parts, and then they will color in the pieces And here. They'll likely have them label it as well. So the major difference is the amount of writing and the amount of 
Um, they'll probably have a little bit more writing to do. They, there's a word bank and these fill it in. Usually, sometimes they also have something that they can cut and paste with a little bit less writing in the younger ones. But this is the same. Brain injuries. This looks the same. Adapting to blindness. Here we have a word bank. Let's see. Is there a word bank for... There is a word bank for this one. So it just really depends on the unit. This one seems very similar. I probably should have done these side by side, but that's okay. Again, that's the same. So in this case... They are mostly the same. It just so if you only have one kiddo in this younger, this younger level, maybe consider getting this other one. If you are wanting to do the lesson extensions, you may only need this one because there's not a whole lot of difference in them this round for this particular unit. It is not the same for all of them, though. Let's look at this really quick. Let's see. Lesson 10. Lesson 10, so there is a little bit more going on here. You have the pictures in theory. Hang on, let's look. Yeah, nature helps our bodies. There's a little bit more here for the older ones. In lesson 10, there's a difference. Which again, if you have the younger ones, maybe you could skip this part or maybe they can do it. You may not need both. All right, extra note. Okay, the book pack. Let's switch over to that. So these are the two books that come in the book pack. And I believe, as usual, the book packs are optional. They're just if you want extra reading for your kiddos. I like to do these as read-alouds. Um, in the evening, I will typically pick a book that goes with what we're studying and then a novel, and I'll just read a little bit in both. In this case, I probably would read the whole story and then read it, our novel. But maybe you want to start part of your lesson with it, or there's another time of day that works best for reading while they're eating lunch or breakfast. Whatever works for your family, you can squeeze these in just to give them a little story, a little added literature that goes with what they're learning. This is one where I would probably read one section a day, so we could just take time to look into it and ponder it and process it before moving on. Okay, and then the optional Extra reading for the older kiddos. The Addiction Question and Answers book. I always get the older kiddos book any as well. And then I just plan to read it with my kiddos because these are great questions, great topics to discuss as we, I may pick and choose. Maybe this particular one is one to talk about. Maybe this one they're not ready for, for the, depending on their age. but it's got a bunch of great information that explains why we don't recommend they do certain things or why, like just giving them that knowledge and the science backed information for when they are faced with decisions like these, they can have an understanding as to why they should say no. All right, that is the entire unit. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. I will be hopping back on in a little bit to do the next unit that I have. And if you ever have any video requests, drop them down there too. I love doing videos that are requested so that I can be providing you with information that is most beneficial to you. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you in a little bit.